Welcome! Let's take a look at how combined assertions are mapped to base assertions in case we're audit. Template authors have the ability to define how base assertions are combined according to their firm standards. To access the assertions and working papers, open your master template. In the AO-General Options document, under the General Options menu, select Assertions. Click the Associate Base Assertions icon. In the dialog, select the combined assertion that corresponds to each base assertion. Each base assertion can only be associated to one combined assertion, but one combined assertion can be associated to multiple base assertions. If there's no association, select Not Applicable. If your engagements need to comply with regional standards that are different from the standards used in the audit template, you can easily remap your assertions. Once remapped, any related procedures will automatically update to reflect your changes. For example, in Work Program 1.101, Procedure A.2 has assertions C, E, and AV. But let's say you want to add a new combined assertion. In the AO-General Options document, update the number of combined assertions from 4 assertions to 5. You can use the default Rights and Obligations as your new combined assertion. Under Firm Standard, select Other and enter Cutoff. Under Abbreviation, select Other and enter CO. Ensure to select Include, otherwise it won't be available for mapping. The Associate Base Assertions icon turns red and a warning bubble displays, indicating that a combined assertion does not have a base assertion association. Click on the Associate Base Assertions icon and in the dialog, Map the cutoff base assertion to the new combined assertion CO. Click OK and reopen Work Program 1.101. Procedure A.2 now has assertions C, E, AV, and the newly added CO. It's important to know that the FSA worksheet is not updated automatically in case engagement teams have modified the assertions during planning. If a user opens the FSA worksheet in an engagement file, they will see a warning bubble indicating that assertions have been modified and need to be reviewed. To enable the changes, users will need to manually add the relevant assertions to their FSA worksheet. In the engagement file, open the FSA worksheet. In the relevant assertions column, right-click the assertions for group number 1 and w p reference 1.101, then select Change Assertions. Select CO, Cutoff, then click OK. If applicable, repeat these steps for any remaining group numbers to manually update the FSA worksheet. Thanks for watching.